y'all know CR7 Jr.'s following in his dad's footsteps, tearing it up on the field. But with a dad like Ronaldo, you can bet his life isn't all birthday cake and video games. There's some pretty strict rules young Cristiano has to follow. Rule number one, no junk food. Forget sugary cereals and greasy burgers. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr.'s life revolves around peak physical condition. Just like his dad, Cristiano Ronaldo. That means a strict diet with absolutely no room for junk food. Imagine birthday parties with fruit skewers instead of cake, or movie nights with air pop popcorn instead of the buttery kind. This might seem harsh, especially to a growing kid, but it's all part of Ronaldo's philosophy. He believes dedication starts with what you put on your plate. You won't find candy bars or chips lying around the Ronaldo household. There's a reason Ronaldo's this ripped even at the age of almost 40. It's a lifestyle, not just a diet, and it's certainly paying off. But ditching the junk food isn't even the craziest rule young Ronaldo has to follow. This next one is something I never even noticed. Rule number two, no interviews with the media. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is already a superstar in the making, thanks to his famous dad. But unlike other celebrity kids who get splashed across headlines, Cristiano Jr. is shielded from the media spotlight. Think about it. When was the last time you saw someone interview the little guy? No interviews. This might seem strange at first. Interviews can be a great way for young athletes to build their brand and connect with fans. But Ronaldo has a different approach. He wants his son to focus on developing his skills and when the time comes, do the talking on the pitch. There's another reason for this rule. Protection. The media could be a double-edged sword. While it could build you up, it can also tear you down. Ronaldo probably wants to avoid any negativity affecting his son's confidence and love for the sport. But that's not all. Rule number three, no social media. Let alone proper media channels, Junior isn't even allowed to use social media. Living a life completely offline? In today's world, that seems almost impossible. But for Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., social media is a big no-no. While most teenagers are glued to their phones, sharing their lives online, Ronaldo Jr. has a different experience. This rule might raise eyebrows. Literally, every boy Jr.'s age is on social media, and considering how famous CR7 is, Jr. would have had millions of followers by now. And this channel would have another subscriber. But that's okay. If Jr. can't subscribe to me, you can. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. For Ronaldo, the potential downsides outweigh the benefits. Concerns about online negativity, cyberbullying, and the pressure to maintain a perfect online persona are all valid reasons for this restriction. It just seems a bit harsh, but if you think about it, Junior will probably thank his dad when he's older. Because it's not like he's completely cut off, he still hangs out with friends and family, but only to a certain extent. Rule number four, no alcohol, a shadow of the past. Because when the adults gather to have a beer, Junior has to keep his distance. This rule carries a deeper meaning than simply avoiding teenage rebellion. Cristiano Ronaldo himself grew up with a father who battled alcoholism. This experience undoubtedly shaped Ronaldo's views on health and discipline. That seems like a pretty good reason to lock alcohol out completely. And if banning beer wasn't enough, Ronaldo's even disallowed Junior from fizzy drinks. Remember when Ronaldo picked a couple of Coca-Cola bottles and placed a bottle of water in front of him in a press conference? Well, the guy lives by that. Just drink water. It's much better than any fizzy poison kids drink these days. Speaking of kids, the next rule's probably a bit too extreme, but you can never be too careful. Rule number five, the friend zone enforcer. Forget the usual teenage freedom of choosing your own friends. Cristiano Ronaldo's social circle gets the personal vetting treatment from his father, Cristiano Ronaldo. That sounds a bit weird, but kids these days are weirder. We don't want Ronaldo Jr. to be like one of the neighbor's kids, do we? Peer pressure during those formative teenage years can be a double-edged sword, and Ronaldo wants to minimize any distractions that could derail Junior's focus and commitment to football. The ultimate goal? To create a goal machine that'll dominate world football for decades to come. But to be like that, he needs to live like a boy on a mission. And it all starts with being the perfect human being. If you think about it, most of these rules had nothing to do with football. They're just things all kids should avoid growing up. And this next one's more of the same. Rule number six, hygiene is king. Cleanliness might seem like a basic principle, but for Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., it's elevated to a whole new level. His dad's renowned for his dedication to a healthy lifestyle, and that includes meticulous hygiene. Imagine a world where regular showers and brushing your teeth aren't just suggestions, but a mandatory part of your day. 
the kid probably has a full routine for the day with strict time set for showering and brushing his teeth. For athletes, good hygiene goes beyond aesthetics. It's crucial for preventing injuries and maintaining peak physical condition. So while it might seem excessive, this rule ensures Cristiano Jr. stays healthy and avoids any unnecessary setbacks on his journey to football stardom. But the biggest enemy for children is probably this next rule. Rule number 7. Banishing the brown stuff. Chocolate, not coffee. With a birthday cake replaced by a fruit platter and movie nights lacking the sugary comfort of popcorn, Cristiano Jr.'s life is decidedly unsweet. Sweets and sugary treats are a complete no-go in the Ronaldo household. Prioritizing a strict diet focused on whole foods and lean proteins for optimal performance. But even more than that, chocolate, with its high sugary content, simply doesn't fit the bill. This focus on healthy eating goes beyond just physical benefits. Ronaldo likely wants to instill these habits early on, preventing any dependence on sugary treats later in life and the potential energy crashes that could disrupt Cristiano Jr.'s focus and training. He still gets to eat it sometimes, but he's mostly just supposed to avoid it. And it's not just him. His daughters aren't allowed to have it either. Talk about good and fair parenting. And if chocolates aren't allowed, this next thing's definitely bad. Rule number 8. Fizzy drinks fizzled out. This might seem like a minor detail, but for Ronaldo Sr., it's very important. I mean, he knew the headlines he was creating when he pushed the Coca-Cola bottle away from his table, but he did it anyway. Cristiano definitely disagrees with fizzy drinks and makes sure his children follow in his footsteps. Just drink aqua, is what he said during that Coke incident, and that's probably what he tells his kid. And he's right about this as well. Fizzy drinks, with their high sugar content and lack of nutritional value, simply don't make the cut. But of course, all of these rules are just part of good parenting. And some of these probably aren't even that strict. This next one, though, is probably the one Ronaldo's most strict about. Rule number 9. Train like a champion. Every day. Knowing that hard work and training are the only way to the top, Ronaldo makes sure Junior follows in his footsteps. There's a strict rule for Junior to train every day, and the training just gets more intense whenever he cheats on one of the previous rules. He's just a kid. Having to train every day seems a bit much, but to be the GOAT, he has to sacrifice something. And it's not like he hates it. He plays the game he loves every day and will definitely reap the rewards in the future. We're talking about hours spent honing skills, building strength, and pushing physical limits. If we've learned one thing from Ronaldo's career, it's that practice makes perfect. So many rules. But when it comes to the one thing you would expect Ronaldo to make a rule about, Ronaldo decided to leave it to Junior. Rule number 10. Freedom to choose his favorite club. After all those rules Junior needs to follow, he deserves some freedom. So when it comes to watching football, Junior's free to do as he wishes. You would expect Junior to support the club his dad plays for. But if that's the case, it's only because Junior decided to do it. He's free to support and follow whichever club he wants, even if it's Barcelona. Even his favorite player is his choice. And believe it or not, he's a huge Messi fan. And Cristiano doesn't mind. Why would he? His son looks up to a great player. Ronaldo should hope Junior can one day be as successful as his favorite player. The word rules has a bit of a negative meaning these days, but I think even Junior knows that the rules are there for his own good. Just like liking and subscribing to this channel is good for you. And what's even better? This next video. You're definitely gonna like it.